the biggest thing is I keep seeing is the Yuli one. And he of course came out to Kron and said, they never offered me a contract and, you know, and it's love, but bro, that's business. It is business. The problem that made us look bad is that he signed a minor league deal with the Mariners. And then people immediately, their immediate question was, was, well, why didn't we offer in a minor league deal? And it's like, that's disrespectful to Yuli to be like, to demote you like that. Yeah. That's like saying, hey, I'm leaving you. I'm going to marry this bitch, but you can live in that room if you want. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> it's just not right. I, I still operate under the assumption that what we should have did with Yuli is ask him to be a bench coach. Like, pay you to be a bench coach, and if I need somebody gets stu- hurt or something, I'll sign you to an active roster contract. That's what I would have done. No, yeah, I, I see it, and then, but I'm also like, you're building a, what you're building, you're you're building longevity, mm-hmm. and Jose Abreu's been so good so far. You're seeing what he's gonna do. People forgot he signed here. Like that free agency signing was amazing, and. It it kind of it. I laugh because I see Astro fans. Oh, this Dana Brown guy. He doesn't understand the culture here. He doesn't understand. Dana Brown's no scrub as a GM. Like, let's Not get at that all. Serious. Like Jose Abreu. People are like, oh, he better he better make sure he can fill those shoes for uh for Yuli. Jose Abreu's no scrub. Like he's dude, an MVP. Yeah. Like let's let's be honest here. Like. It, I'd feel different if he didn't get signed and we didn't sign anybody to fill him and we're just, okay, then I can understand it. But the, also the other part is we're not the only team in baseball. Nope. Nobody else gave Yuli a deal. Nobody else nope. was like, oh, man, he's not signing. Let me give him a deal. And it's just like. The reality so- of it is, and you know I'm a Yuli fan, and I yeah. first off the point I want to make is Yuli and Abreu are different players. Mm-hmm. Abreu's an offensive guy. Yuli, at this point in his career, is a defensive guy. Yeah. So you can't put Yuli expectations on Abreu and expect him to live up to it because it's not what he's going to do. And then secondly, it's like, damn, I forgot my second point. Uh, I feel more confident going into this season with Abreu than I would with Yuli because I don't worry about what Abreu is going to do with the bat. But if Yuli goes 70% of the season batting 213 again, that's not good because our pitching staff don't have Verlander on it. You need runs. Yeah. And and that's what I, I try to – like I'm trying to get people to understand is you can't look at this season as last season. There's missing yep. pieces. There's different players in different positions now that have to pick up the slack. Jeremy Pena, nobody knew who he was really coming in. Yeah, oh, you're, you're filling Correa's shoes. He's coming off of his best season he's probably ever going to have unless he just is a monster coming out and does something even better. But being realistic here, he now has a – people know who he is. Oh, that's Jeremy Penny. I got I to gotta go for him. Kyle Tucker is in contract terms, so he's going to play hard. You have an older Atuve. You have an older Bregman. You have a pitching rotation that we kind of already know, Framber and Javier, your one-two punch. And then after that, it's kind of like, okay, is it Garcia and Hunter mm-hmm. Brown? How are you going to do this season? What's going on with Lance? Is elbow? Like, there's so many questions. Or Kitty, what are Kitty might get in at this point? Like, like you but said, that's why I was like, I trust Dusty because it's like yeah. we talked about it. It's like, all right, be elect. I need you for a month, bro. I need four stars out of you. You know what I mean? Yeah. And like you have to like use the depth that you have. But people just got to realize, you just said it, bro. This season is not last season. Seattle made a shit ton of moves. You may think you know everything about the Astros, but go see what Seattle did. Those mm-hmm. young boys are not playing with you. They're coming to fucking get you. So runs are at a premium. This bullshit where we go four games where we only score two runs is not going to work. Like You're not no. going to win the division doing that again. No. We need to do like we did a couple years ago when we lost to the Braves where we were fr- freaking averaging like five and a half runs a game. Like we have mm-hmm. to be on that level offensively. Yeah. Straight up. With the bullpen and the ability to score runs, we're we're the hardest team in baseball to beat, but you got to go out there and do it. And you're not going to do it with Yuli hitting one month out of the season. No. It, it, it's just the truth of it. I mean, and that's why you have guys like Kinsley and all these others that 
they're focusing so much on what they're doing for offense because but just being, things that we've done proves that they know what we need to do if we're being completely honest jose abreu and bringing back michael brantley they're hired guns like they're a sat mm-hmm. you're basically like a mobster being like yo like hold these guns and shoot at them when they shoot first and yeah. that they're literally coming there coming in there to each try to give you 25 home runs and 85 rbis you know what i'm saying yeah. and you're not getting shit out of maldonado we just <laughs> No, we know what Maldonado is. And he's like the one person where, okay, your defense is is good. Your your control, the the pitchers, that's all I need you for, bro. You, you know what Maldonado is? He's like when we had PJ Tucker. It's like, all right, <laughs> I know you try real hard on defense, so you don't got to score. Yeah, you're 0 for 5, but it's all good, bro. It's Yeah, I don't – I just – for me, I feel like when it comes to the offense, you look at teams that last year, like, philly san diego padres and you look at like how they went through playoffs of a lot of runs a lot of runs they were beating pitchers left and right yes we had the best pitching in baseball we don't have that luxury anymore of our we don't know yet it's an up in the air thing because you don't know how people are going to perform but like you said how has our division got better okay oakland a's they're yeah i don't know what the hell they do but then you have, if you have a healthy Angels, you have Otani and you have Trout over there. Boom. And Those Rendon. Two guys that can get the ball out of the park anytime yep. they want to. Then you look at Texas Rangers. Yeah, they don't have the best, but they did sign players. They mm-hmm. got a pitcher in DeGrom that if he's healthy, he's an ace. And they went and got people to come and beat you. That's what they said. We're going for the division first. And then you have Seattle. I don't care what anybody says. Yes, Seattle from 1977 has not done anything. They've never won anything. But you have probably one of the best players in baseball on that team. That team team is legit. I ain't going to say they scare me, but that team is legit. Like, they have real baseball players on it. If you don't show up to play, they will beat the shit out of you. Mm -hmm. And they want, bro, after beating them in the playoffs, after disrespecting them on social media, talking about especially after that game of 16 70 any bro 18 in, bro they bro, 18, took us yeah. they fought us harder than anybody else mm-hmm. like uh, like the phillies beat us a couple times but it was more so like bad managing we weren't prepared yeah. the bullshit weather delay the yankees weren't we, I, I forgot what we played them because they're sorry ass didn't do nothing <laughs> but seattle legit brought the fight to us you know what i'm saying yeah. like it literally took an act of heroism in game one from Jordan, and then we went 18, and they went 17 and, and a third innings with us, and we're like, no, we, we're, we'll we sit here and box with you. That's yeah. that's a good-ass team. No, that team, that out of any team in the division, that it's that team that I'm like, okay, I'm not going to sit here, and the jokes are funny and all, but when it comes down to play, I, I know our players are like, that's who, that's who we got to stay above. That's who we got to stay, because we faltered for a bit. They were leading the division, and we climbed yep. back up into it. You can't do that again this year. Well, we were up by a lot, and they kind of caught yeah. us. I mean, we say caught us because they got within 10. But, yeah. like, we thought we were, like, King Dingling. But it's not even just them, bro. Like, think about it. Like, the Yankees are scrubs, but they don't always play like it. So you got to assume that they'll come prepared. Cleveland yeah. Indians, like, they got a little bit better. So it, you just have to come and be better. Like, you can't rest and, on that win from last year. Nah, and, and it's a new season, and we're playing everybody this year. And there's a lot of teams that don't like us, from old Astro rivalries to the scandals to now that we won with no cheating. And good luck, bro. Like, we're going to get – but the way I see it is you're the champions. You're going to get everybody's top game. Well, you were already getting it because yeah. people hate us. But yeah. now that you're the champion, they're man, they're gonna find a way to get your ass. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You gotta come correct. That's and all that, I can say. And that's why I feel that a Brayu signing, what he brings, bro, is gonna be dominant for this team. And who's to say that? You know, like you know, I'm a Hensley fan. I always stick up for him. <laughs> that he sucks, and the Houston don't go trade back for Yuli. And like, all right, now you're our first base utility player, DH, if we need one. And he. Say if Yuli doesn't even make the team, he's on a minor league deal. <laughs> it's a, yes. 
So it's there's a lot of stuff. Like I'm just there's still and we guys. You still have trade deadline. Once you start seeing these teams that are just like, damn, we suck, dog. I gotta get rid of these guys. People are gonna become available. Oh, we can't re-sign this person. Oh, well, I might as well yeah. trade. Right? Well, what do we got? And it minor league players that are gonna be like, I gotta do good this year. I gotta make it to the majors. Like, oh, I promise you, at some point, the Houston Astros trade for another catcher. I see that yeah. coming. Like that's for sure. You don't. You don't think Stubbs is gonna be the guy? Yeah. No. See, but that is one of the things that I like that I think that sustains the Astros success that people don't realize is we continually bring in these guys that are know how to play baseball and they're hungry. Like they don't win shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like Abreu hasn't won anything. Jake Myers has a lot of shit to prove. Hensley still has shit to prove. And and those are the guys that will get you through sometimes, you know, and I like that. So like like you just said, maybe Stubbs will come out motivated. You never know, yeah. you know. 